Taylor Swift's ex, Taylor Lautner, just posted a goofy TikTok praying for Swift's other ex, John Mayer, and here's why Swifties are rallying behind him. Taylor Lautner took to TikTok to shade John Mayer ahead of the release of Speak Now, Taylor's version. But before we get into why he did that, and why Swifties are even more in love with Lautner now, let's take a look at some of the breakups that inspired songs on Speak Now. Though Taylor's first major relationship in the public eye was more of a fling, we have to mention her time with Joe Jonas. Though the pair dated super briefly from July to October in 2008, their breakup is what makes this relationship a memorable one. While appearing as a guest on Ellen, Taylor shaded Joe on the nature of the breakup, saying, When I find that person who is right for me, he'll be wonderful. And when I look back at that person, I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds when I was 18. And of course, it wouldn't be a swift breakup if there wasn't a song to go along with it. Taylor's Forever and Always was inspired by Joe with lyrics, Was I out of line? Did I say something way too honest made you run and hide? Like a scared little boy. So although Joe broke up with Taylor, she definitely got the last word in. The next major relationship Taylor was in was with another Taylor, Taylor Lautner. We haven't arrived at his TikTok just yet, but we'll get there soon, we promise. The two had a brief fling in fall of 2009 while filming the rom-com Valentine's Day, where they played high school sweethearts. You guys are... Oh. <clears throat> so how do you two feel about each other this Valentine's Day? Oh my gosh, I totally love him. Swift allegedly wrote Back to December about Lautner, who is pretty much the only boy Swift deemed deserving of not a breakup song, but an apology song. Back to December had the lyrics, You gave me roses and I left them there to die. So this is me swallowing my pride, standing in front of you saying I'm sorry for that night. And I go back to December all the time. Back to December is on Speak Now and will be a part of the re-release, but we can't talk about Lautner's TikTok without getting to Taylor's next relationship. Swift's next love was none other than John Mayer, who arguably escalated their breakup into the biggest Taylor had had. John and Taylor were together from December 2009 to February 2010, and though it was just a few months long, Taylor of course had a scathing song to accompany the breakup, and John was not a fan. Dear John, also off of Speak Now, directly targeted the singer with lyrics like, And I lived in your chess game, but you changed the rules every day. Wondering which version of you I might get on the phone. Tonight, well, I stopped picking up, and this song is to let you know why. In the song, Taylor also delivered a number of solid blows regarding the couple's age difference, as Meyer was 32 and Taylor was just 19. Ew. As one can guess, Meyer did not respond well to the single. Meyer complained in a Rolling Stone interview, saying, I will say, as a songwriter, that I think it's kind of cheap songwriting. I know she's the biggest thing in the world, and I'm not trying to sink anybody's ship but I think it's abusing your talent to rub your hands together and go, wait till he gets a load of this. That's BS. And now that you have all this background, we can finally get into what's going on with Taylor Lautner's TikTok. On May 17th in 2023, Taylor Lautner shared this TikTok with Swift's Dear John playing over it, where he kneels down and prays. Swifties cannot get enough of Lautner's goofy shade to John Mayer, especially considering Lautner got an apology from Speak Now and Meyer got condemned. The comment section exploded in messages from fans, and the responses are amazing. This user shared, he said call an ambulance, but not for me. Another chimed in by writing, okay, back to December guy, you won this. This user spoke for all the Swifties when they said, this is why he'll forever be the Swifties' favorite ex. We'll keep you updated on whether or not John Mayer or Taylor Swift herself respond to the TikTok, but for all your trending news, find us everywhere at What's Trending.